Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, we're going to be talking about how to pick a niche um, going forward into 2020. So if you're new to dropshipping then, I believe a lot of people watching this channel are. Um, I certainly speak to a lot of beginners. Um, in terms of starting a business now, trying to capitalize on Q4, I think you're going to struggle, especially if you are dropshipping from AliExpress. So now is the time to start thinking past Christmas time into January, February time. Um, and start putting the preparation in now. So building your store, finding the products, and ultimately having something professional and decent looking before you start running ads. Before we get into the video then, um, as always in every single video, I do give away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me. So then a chance for me and you to have a chat one-on-one -on, -one on Skype, and we can go through whatever you want. You can ask me whatever questions you want. We can go through your store products, whatever it is. Um, for your chance to win that, all you simply have to do is hit the like button just below this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, leave a comment down below. In terms of the comment, it could be whatever you want, just comment ecom, some sort of question. Um, my answer, I look at every single comment, so if there is a question you want to ask me, um, just post it down below. Anyway, let's get into today's video. So there's a couple of ways I want to approach this, um, because ultimately it's going to depend on what your ultimate goal is. So... For example, then when I have a one to one call with somebody, I tend to start the call off with why are you getting into dropshipping? So number one, are you trying to make some money really quick? In which case you want to follow the money, follow what's working now. So trends, for example, or number two, do you see yourself doing dropshipping in five, 10 years time, building a brand, etc.? In which case don't follow on, don't follow what's working now but follow what you want to follow and build something substantial, professional, a brand, a reputation around that specific niche of products. So the first path I wanna go down then is if you're just focusing on making money as quickly as possible, because most of the people I speak to tend to be in that situation. They wanna get going right away, they're really motivated. Um, and they wanna start making sales straight away because in the beginning, motivation is huge. Like it would take quite a resilient person to be running ads for two, three months, not see any sales and still continue going. So as a beginner, if you are somebody who struggles with motivation, then I would focus on what's working because trust me, when those initial sales start coming in, the motivation that will spur you on to continue doing what you're doing and spend even more time on your business um, will only be a beneficial thing in the long run. So if you are one of these people then that wants to focus on the money and essentially just get kicked off right away, start making straight away, then Google Trends has to become your best friend because Google Trends will tell you within a matter of seconds like whether a niche is currently on the upward trend or whether it's on a downward trend. And if you can get into a niche, so for example, then coming into January now, obviously January is the time where people start setting New Year's resolutions. So you have to start thinking about what kind of New Year's resolutions are people going to be setting for themselves. And the number one typical example, um, you can go and double check this on Google Trends, but it's fitness. People want to start losing weight. They want to start taking care of themselves. And the amount of people who join gyms, um, in January is absolutely crazy. So there you go. There is a trend in niche that you could potentially get into. Another way to go about it is think about the country that you want to sell in. So for example, then typically what I'll do is when I'm starting a new store with a new niche, I'll always focus on the UK just purely to keep things simple. I think if you try and go too big too quickly, then you're just setting yourself up to fail. So in my opinion, I would focus on one country and think about the kind of times that country is going through um, so for example, then here in the UK, it's winter, it's really cold, it's really dark really quickly. So think about the kind of products and things people do this time of year. So with it being dark and cold, people are, say for example, if you start at the very beginning of the day, they get up in the morning, they might have to de-ice their windscreen. So is there a product that could help them with that? Um, they might have to cycle to work in the dark. So is there a product that might help them with that? Um, and just think along the lines of like what kind of hobbies people do this time of year, what kind of things people spend their money on. Um, and that will give you ideas for different niches. And then you can always double check those niches in Google Trends. And all you want to make sure is that you're not towards the bottom of a trend when you start selling in it because at that point less and less people are going to be looking for products within that niche. Some other things then to keep in mind when it comes to picking a niche is number one try and pick what I call a sub niche so for example then instead of going into dogs which I would consider quite a broad niche because obviously there's so many different breeds um, it applies to so many different people go into a sub niche which is essentially a niche within a niche because when it comes to advertising on Facebook the more specific you can be with your audience the better connection you're going to have 
have with them and the better engagement results, click through rates, etc. you're going to get. So try and pick what I call a sub niche and try and pick a niche that people are passionate about and proud to be part of. So for example, if you go up to a dog owner and try and strike up a conversation about their dog, the chances are they're always going to want to talk about their dog because they're proud of their dog. Like there's a reason they chose to adopt that dog, that particular breed and spend quite a significant amount of money on raising a dog, looking after the dog, etc. because they're proud to have that dog and that breed, for example. Whereas if you try and go into a sub niche where people aren't really passionate about it, then you're gonna find it difficult to advertise products on Facebook successfully. So for example, then you could, if you, it's quite an extreme example, but it illustrates the point quite nicely, is that if you go into the home appliance niche and then try and sell fridges as a sub niche, people don't really like, strike up conversations about fridges. If you go up to a random stranger um, and ask them what fridge they have, then they're probably gonna think you're some kind of weirdo um, and tell you to bugger off. So try and pick something that people are passionate about and people want to talk about. Social media is all about sharing things, talking to each other, tagging people, etc. So try and pick a niche in which people are already doing that in. A good way to go about finding these niches is if you go into Facebook and search I love and then your niche, if there's loads of pages about it, then that's a good example. If you go into Facebook now and search I love fridges, there's not gonna be many pages with that name. I might be completely wrong, you never know. Um, but it's just a good way then of gauging whether people are actually passionate about your niche or not. And with that being said, I wanna move on to if you're not necessarily, so for example, let's say you work in a nine to five and you don't particularly like it, but it's okay, you can manage it for the next six to 12 months. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go into a niche that you are interested in, have a passion about, have a knowledge about, um, and slowly build up your brand over time because in the long run, trust me, it's gonna be the most profitable way. Trust me, trying to run a business constantly relying on Facebook ads to bring in customers and then forget about those customers. So basically what I'm trying to say is trying to build a business that doesn't focus on bringing customers back to you and purely just relies on those front end customers, it's gonna be difficult to do and sustain for longer than a period of about 12 months, or at least you go through that period of where things are going well. So your next option then is to focus on something that you build slowly over time to the point where you build up that relationship, that trust with your customers, so they keep coming back to you time and time again. So if this is the route you want to go, then there's a couple of things in which I recommend you do. Number one is go for a niche that you have a passion and knowledge of. Again, for a couple of reasons. Number one, things are gonna go bad at some point. It doesn't matter what business you go into, whether it's drop shipping, Amazon FBA, um, a social media marketing agency, businesses go through struggles and when they go through struggles you have to be heavily motivated and invested in your business if you're going to go through those rough patches and if it's something you're passionate about that you really care about then you're going to find it easier to go through those um, those crappy times basically so by choosing something that you have a passionate in then ultimately you're just going to find it more enjoyable and in those tougher times are going to be easier to ride out the second thing as well is that if you have a passion in it, then you should have a knowledge of it too, which will make it so much easier when it comes to product selection, when it comes to marketing on Facebook, when it comes to producing content, when it comes to finding influencers, when it comes to doing anything pretty much overall. So for example then, when it comes to picking products to sell, so let's say for example, I went into the golf niche because I play golf quite regularly, I have friends that are golfers, um, I watch golf, when it come, I can scroll through the AliExpress product feed for golf products and I'll point out the crappy ones that nobody will buy and I'll point out the good ones because I know what golfers spend their money on, if that makes sense. And when it comes to marketing on Facebook too, when it comes to picking interests, then I know which interests will be specific to the people who are actually passionate about golf. I've used this example so many times before, but the amount of people I speak to who don't implement it, and trust me, it can make a massive, massive difference when it comes to your success with Facebook ads. So to give you a quick example then, obviously when we're selling a product on Facebook, we wanna find the people, the buyers within a niche that are gonna buy our product. And typically the people who buy a product are the people who are most passionate about and it suits the most. So when it comes to picking interests, we want to pick interests that are relevant to the pure and passionate golfers because they're the ones that play golf every single week and therefore they're going to be the people who have the biggest requirement for a golfing product. So when it comes to finding those super passionate people, we have to find the interests within a niche that only the buyers and the passionate people are going to be included in. So for example then, if you were trying to go into the golf niche and you didn't have knowledge of golf, then you would probably target somebody like Tiger Woods 
because he's a massive name within the golfing industry and you don't necessarily have to be passionate about golf to know who he was. Therefore, if you target him, you're also going to be targeting quite a lot of people who don't even play golf. Whereas if you were to target, say, Bubba Watson, if you're not interested in golf, then you probably don't know who he is. And that's because he's not as big as Tiger Woods yet. He's still big within the golfing niche. And only true golfers who are really interested in golf and play golf every single week and actually watch golf will know who he is. And therefore, they're more likely to be included in him as an interest as an audience. And therefore, they're more likely to be interested in your golfing product. So hopefully that makes sense. But any questions at all, then make sure you leave a comment down below. And then the third thing I want to finish on um, on this video is if you do decide to go down the route then of building a brand um, going long term then the third thing so number one was when it's easier to pick products number two is it's easier to pick interest for your Facebook ads and number three it's easier to find influencers to promote your products. So if you are, if you do go down the route of something you're interested in, the chances are you're already following people on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook that are within your niche because you have an interest in it. And you will know the kind of content they post, the kind of content people want to see, which will give you then ideas for content for you to post. And it will give you ideas of what influencers have the best engagement, have the best relationship with their followers, and therefore will get you the best amount of traffic and the best amount of sales and with that being said then guys I think that pretty much just wraps up everything I wanted to go through um, hopefully I haven't forgotten anything but if there's anything you feel like I haven't answered make sure you pop a question um, in the comment section down below and I do answer every single question um, if you enjoyed the video please do leave a like um, if you haven't subscribed yet either for weekly videos now um, four to five videos a week is what I'm aiming for then please do hit that subscribe button too and with that being said thanks very much for watching and let's get into announcing the winner of the one-to-one -one call so here we are then guys um, on my previous video which was three products to drop ship now for the six for the next six months so these were three really cool products in my opinion um, if you are struggling for product ideas please do go check this video out anyway I'm just gonna take the video URL head over to our random comment picker 21 unique comments which is absolutely awesome so thank you very much and um, we're almost arriving at 10,000 subs actually which is pretty crazy anyway the winner of the previous video then is Clayton Bates so thank you very much for your comment hit me up on Instagram we can get that call arranged and guys if you just want to get straight down to business book a call right away you can do so there is a link in the video description below with that being said guys that's it for this video thanks very much for tuning in um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one